Hello beautiful humans, my name is Taryn and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are gonna do a little day in my life again because it's been a shit week and what does a shit week call for? Retail therapy. I'm about to spend so much money. To make me feel better. <laughs> um, as you can see in the background, I have my, my Christmas tree up because it needed to go up because Christmas is happy times. So yeah, I'm just gonna go around town today and get told what to buy. Like just walk through some stores and I just feel like it's gonna call to me. Uh, there's a few things that are specifically on my list like I definitely want new stockings because I don't like the stockings that I've been using for the past five years but everything else is going to be like Christmas gifts probably because I probably shouldn't spend money on me but spending money on other people is okay yeah so I figured well I was gonna say come along with me but I am not taking my camera into a store there's literally no way that I am able to do that just anxiety reasons you know so I'll just come back with my big haul maybe I'll take some clips on my phone that I'll just input in I don't know I don't know we'll see what happens it'll be a fun day though I am ready to buy things oh a little reading update seeing that this is what this account was started as is what are. Um, I am currently listening to Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson and I am I'm 56% into it so I have about three hours left of it. I would like to finish this today because well this is I have not finished a book this month because it's just been not a fabulous month so I would like to finish this and get it out of my Libby loans because it's due in like two days anyway so I need to go change my clothes. And then I'll show you a little fit of the day and then we'll even go shopping. Bye. I mean, whatever. Okay. Fit for today is a nice comfy cozy. We just have on my Crescent City t-shirt. This is from TikTok shop. Um, my best friend got it for me. It even has Crescent City on the back. I love it. I love it. Uh, some black leggings and some platform black chucks. I'm thinking about wearing sunglasses today so people don't talk to me but I gotta hate wearing my contacts. Let's go spend some money. Not me having a video like this just two weeks ago that I bought stuff. Okay haul time. Um first things first I got stockings from Target. Um I got white ones for the girlies me and Pepper Pot and this like brown-ish color for the boys um because i figured if i ever were to like switch up like the decor these are still neutral enough to like go with everything i got some baby wreaths they're window wreaths but i really want to see if they would fit on my kitchen cabinets at least on like two of my cabinets i think and then one of them i might put on my mirror over there because i feel like that'd be cute I got myself some sweatpants shorts from Aerie because they were on clearance. They have a cutie little back pocket. Oh, and then I got my mom a present from there, but I can't show that, obviously. I don't know that she watched my videos, but whatever. I got Christmas sheets for our bed um, because I still have my fall sheets on because I don't have Christmas ones, so I grabbed these. So I need to wash them and put them on my bed. I went to Five Below and got massive disco ball ornaments so I can add these to our tree not that tree but the one that we have out there I'm showing this to you in absolutely no particular order I'm just grabbing a bag I got an extension cord power strip whatever okay the rest is all from Walmart I grabbed these little tree things for my tree I grabbed three of them because I need some disco balls up in that tree too I grabbed this athletic jacket um, I have one of these in green that I love and wear a lot in the like winter-ish times here in Florida. Um, but I wanted a black one. I got some new pot holders. No, that's not what these are called. What are these called? Oven mitts. And it came with a pot holder and a cute tea towel. I should have got one of these for my mom. This like matches her kitchen so well. And then the last thing that I bought from Walmart were 
a lot of these little bows because I saw somebody make a wreath, not a wreath, a garland out of this and they literally just like hot glued the bows together and it was so cute and I want it on my entry wall really bad so I got nine of those and that's everything that I bought. I think I, well I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I am going to listen to that audiobook and color so I'll do a little time lapse of that happening and then I'll probably make that bow garland later today. Uh, but don't hold me to that. I don't know. Um, before I sat down to read, I thought I'd show you the new shorts that I just bought. Uh, they're cute. I could probably roll them down and it'd be a vibe too. Wow, it's hard to do with one hand. Um, but either way, they're really soft. So that's cool. Let's get you situated for a time-lapse. My camera dying at the worst possible spot. You didn't even see me finish my coloring page. Ugh. This book is so good. I like need you guys to listen to it or read it. I don't care what your mode of this book is, but I need you to read it. Listen to it. Oh, it is so good. I'm so glad uh, that I'm focused on coloring right now because I would be blubbering. <laughs> I did have a few tears drop, but I have two hours left. I was supposed to go to the gym today, but I will not be doing that. No, no, no. So I'm gonna keep doing this two more hours. I'll I'll come back to you when I have an update. Hello. Um, what time is it? It is 7.30 and I just finished Vow of Thieves. I didn't realize that my TV was that loud. Hang on. Um, and it was amazing. And
then, I mean, I'm sure I left that clip in, but quite literally five seconds after I told you, I'm so happy I'm coloring, otherwise I'd be sobbing, sobbing, I started sobbing. Like, I think my makeup is actually not doing so good now, but I'm, I don't give a shit, I'm home. I feel like I didn't do a lot today to just, holy, I can't say I feel like I didn't do enough today to make this just a day in my life vlog. So I might just keep this up for tomorrow and we'll see what I have to do tomorrow. I don't know what I have to do tomorrow. <sighs> okay, well, thanks for making me read today. I don't think I would have finished that, that audiobook if I didn't start this vlog. So, thank you. Pepper is currently standing outside my door waiting for dinner. She still has 30 minutes late left. Um, oh, would you like to know the next audiobook that I have? Oh, when's the last time I updated my Goodreads? Okay, the next audiobook that I have that is due in six days, actually, is The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. I've heard really good things about this, and it's only a five-hour listen, which is nice. Okay, so apparently I need to go to bed because I can't stop yawning. Um, I will probably start The Dead Romantics tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow morning, besties. Hi, beautiful humans. Good morning, cuties. Every time I turn my camera on, there is a plane. So, good morning. Happy Saturday, beautiful humans. I need you today. I need you to keep me accountable so I'm recording because we're living in a little bit of a depression dungeon in this household um and i need to clean um but before i clean it is hair wash day tomorrow so i'm gonna slick my hair back in a little oil concoction bun and then get on with my day so what we are using we have divi this can you see it oh my god my little beaut beauty youtuber self self i couldn't do it um my best friend actually got this for me. She got it in like her FabFitFun box and for some reason had like, I don't know, she had multiple shoes. So she was like, here, try this. Because after I had my extensions in, what was this, two years ago, I felt bald. My dad is bald and I felt like Mr. John Tubbs. And uh, I don't know about you guys, I don't like to feel bald. It's not something that I love to feel. So once a week i put this divi in my hair and well when i first got it i was not using it very often like at all but now it's probably been a year i think it was a year since i chopped my hair off i chopped my hair off it was what was it it was short like i had short short hair you can go back and look if you really want to and i've been doing the Divi and this Meow Rosemary Oil in my hair every week and letting it sit for like a day or two depending on when I actually wash my hair because I hate washing my hair. Um, and it has grown a lot and it has gotten like, I'm not gonna say really thick because there are Betsy's out there with some nice hair but it has gotten thicker, which we love. And then I also switched my shampoo because for a while there, I was getting really bad dandruff and I didn't know why. So I started using Head & Shoulders and I honestly think that too has helped my hair grow back, which is so weird because it's such a stripping shampoo, like just a cleansing shampoo, but it has helped me so so much anyway i'm gonna keep doing this i'll speed you up
So I may look a little bald for the rest of the video, but the hair is, what's it called? When you're like soaking meat. <laughs> marinating. The hair is marinating. All right, let's get to cleaning. I'm gonna start in the reading room because you need to be charged. Even though I thought I charged you all day yesterday, you need to be charged. So I'll charge you while we're in here and then we'll move on to the rest of the house. Hmm. While we're at it, I think I'm just gonna start an audiobook. Why not? Penguin Random House Audio presents Oh, Dead Roman. that's, it's not my headphones. Listen, this is not about to be a deep clean of any part of my house. Um, so if I clean something that isn't up to your standards, keep it to yourself. Thank you. Why don't I read? Trigger warnings. I'm about to sob my eyes out. I feel it already. I'm on, I'm, I'm an hour, not even an hour in. I'm on chapter six. This book is gonna break me. For the finale, oh. uh, for the finale, this is probably, this is the worst room of the house. That fan, I know is annoying, but I'm sweating, so I don't care. Um, this book is super interesting. I was so against listening to it for the longest time. Hang on. Let me just, okay. I was so against listening to this book or like reading it in general for the longest time because I mean it's called The Dead Romantics and after reading oh I don't know what Colleen Hoover book it was. I read some Colleen Hoover book and it was about like there was like paranormal stuff in it and I was just so off it. I was like, no, I cannot do paranormal romance. That is creepy, it's weird, ghost, falling in love with ghosts. I don't really think that's it for me. I don't think it's for me. So then when this came out, that was like one of the thing that, things that I like asked a bunch of my Instagram followers and they said like, yes, there's like an aspect of paranormal, but they all said that I would still like it. And I was like, oh God, that's still so creepy. Like not creepy, but just like iffy. I'm still so iffy about it. But I see the paranormal sense of it now. And I'm hoping that it's gonna go the way that I think it's gonna go because then that'll make me feel less weird, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I washed my new Christmas sheets. So I'm gonna make the bed first and then we'll deal with the rest of this absolute disaster of a room. I'm gonna go get the sheets. Actually, I'm gonna take the bed off first. Okay, it doesn't matter, you'll see.
Okay, we're back in the kitchen. I, don't, I feel like I haven't left the kitchen today, but I'm gonna make my little bow garland. So let's do that. I did, hang on. So I bought these from Walmart, right? Cause they were 98 cents. And I just took one out. Zeus, give me one second, please. I just took one out of its wrapping. The entire, it's three, it's four separate pieces actually. This is a piece, this one's a piece, this one's a piece, and this is a piece. So before I can even begin hot gluing these together, I have to hot glue them to themselves, if that makes sense. See, I take out this little beautiful, bub, one second please, zip tie thing. And then it's like zip tied there too i don't know if like maybe you're expected to just zip tie this onto something that would make sense but i'm not doing that like that's just not the vibe so i maybe it was just the last no nope. see the whole thing just like just like comes apart which i paid 98 cents for it whatever so i'm just hot gluing this and this and then that on it okay so you'll get to watch me do that in a second. Let me go let my dog out. What if time you're what if like you're a plant and you're like fully alone and you die and it comes up to it's you so are cute. Dead. <laughs> this is adorable. This is only five because I think I want it on my front mirror. And I feel like this is a good length. And then I might do four somewhere else. Or I might go more might I might go buy more bows because I literally shut shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. This is so cute. <sighs> that was the easiest thing I've ever done. Okay, let's go look at it. You've been plugged in all day, just like randomly around my house because I just can't obviously stop recording to charge my camera. Okay. Hey, look at the back of my head. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Good. But it needs to be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done. Like I want it kind of high. Should I only do three here? Maybe, okay, pause. Maybe you only do, Maybe I only do three, I thought nine. So maybe I do three here and six somewhere else. Let's go figure out where I could put six. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, there's just still something about my living room that is just not festive enough. That is just not festive enough. And I don't know what it is. I'm like, do I need these little bows up in this weird ass? Oh, hey, don't zoom in. Ba back up. Up up there. That would be cute. And I feel like six would 
definitely fit. Okay, that's what we're doing. Thanks. So glad you talked it through with me. I'm carrying you on like my big tripod. It's very hard. Okay, let's glue one more and then we'll glue the other three together, put them on my mirror and hang these up as well. I think what I'm gonna do, I could just nail it into the wall, huh? I mean, there's holes all up in those walls. You've seen me hang shit before. I have little nails. I feel like that, that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like you could see it in the video that I was doing, but I'm literally just hot gluing the top here and just hooking them there so that they still kind of hang. Actually, I feel like now that I made this only three, I'm not gonna be able to nail it in on my window. I mean, on my mirror, but I do have command. Lots and lots of, not lots and lots, but I do have command strips that I can use. I'm just cutting two in half so that they're not as wide. So now I have two. Now, am I command hooking it to the mirror? I don't know. I don't. I just do things without thinking. I can still smile in the corner. I very much don't have that in nailed very well, but don't have it nailed in very well. But thank God it's light because it's not coming down. I probably should have just put it up with some command strips like last time, but that's so cute. Okay, well, I've been, I've been crafty today, so that makes me feel like I did good. beautiful humans it is monday now um but i finished the dead romantics today so i wanted to come on here and tell you that it was amazing and ashley poston is just amazing her writing so good and it did pan out the exact way that i thought and hoped it would pan out but I'm, i they made me happy i was very happy about it i loved it and i highly recommend you read it, listen to it, however you wanna go about it. So Florence is a ghostwriter for a really famous author, and she also is able to speak to ghosts. Very important, okay? She gets a new editor, and this guy, handsome, broody, tall, you know, all the things. They don't like start off on the right foot, but then she, has to go home because something dramatic happens which which is on the back of the book but I don't want to tell you it because I didn't read the back of the book when I went into this and that part killed me and I liked not knowing that it, that it was going to happen. Anyway while she's at home this ghost knocks on her door and guess who the ghost is? It's her editor. Somehow homeboy is dead. Um, so then she's trying to like help him figure out how he died and also just like figure out how to navigate the world that is now going on while she's also dealing with the thing that happened that sent her back home and it was just really amazing. It is a happily ever after. I very much enjoyed it. So there's that. That's five stars. I loved it. Um, and her other book, what is the other one called? Uh, the Seven Year Slip was also absolutely amazing. And she just came out with a new one that I haven't picked up, but I probably will pick up because now I know that she's absolutely an author that I will read anything that she writes. Um, and then I'm pretty sure I gave you my thoughts on Vow of Thieves. I love that duet. It is an amazing duet. I will probably never stop raving about that duet. Um, so please read it listen to it the audiobook was so good um but that's it for this little reading vlog thanks for coming along and hanging out 
I hope you have an amazing day, night, week, month, and year. I love you. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, beautiful humans.